job. Is what, what should I say that? Now, are you coming from an artist artist standpoint? Are you coming from a film standpoint? I'm Which from a creative standpoint? That covers I would say it covers everything. Whether it's film, artistically, um, innovatively, inventive wise, I need to know how, how to protect myself aside from just the trademark and so on. Because once a bigger person, let's say whether it's an artist or a bigger company, takes that idea, capitalize on it's hard for you to even come back to the mass media or, or the public to say, hey, that's me, and hey, you know that. At the end of the day, that person capitalizes. Now you looked upon as the copycat. So, what I learned, you have to foster your own community, right? And with that, when you build your own community between your neighborhood and then people that are paying attention to whatever you're pushing out, whether it's music, whether it's production, whether it's content, whatever, whatever it is, you have to build a, a base, right? And as you push it out, people are going to say, you did that first, or they're going to recognize you. There's no way to protect it, because people are going to get an idea from your idea. That's what innovation is about. People kind of piggyback off of each other and then take it to another level. So there's no way to protect it besides beating them to the punch and being the first, and actually having a community to back you. Like, you know what, even though you're not as big as them, but you did do that first. So now I see the genius in you, which helps them believe in your next thing. Because there's a lot of people that I've submitted music to, that all of a sudden I hear that same sample, but guess what, I don't own the sample, so I can't really be mad at them. So then all of a sudden I just gotta say, all right, I should have put it out first. So if they would have heard it first, they would have been like, yo, Sean Money did that loop first, or Sean Money used that record first. But it's all about what starts with what you build, and then it, it arrives from there. But you can't protect it outside of, like you said, trademark, copyright, all that melody. So those days are over to me. You just got to get it out there. You got to focus on your what you're building, not what they're, because there's going to always be a big, bigger company that takes and grow with it. You just got to beat them to the punch and build it and build it and build it to the point where that 300 turns into 3,000, that 3,000 turns into 30,000. I see my guy, Jonah, Jonah Lucas, do it. He actually directs his video, so he knows how to really do thought-provoking things that make people watch it. And then it, it took a while for people to realize that this was his pattern. So you have to be consistent. And that's what he did. He did the same thing differently, consistently, to the point where everyone says, you're that guy. And that's what you gotta do. You can't look at the next to the other. You can't worry about it. You have your own path. And he's gonna give you what you need to get where you need to go. So you just gotta keep staying consistent at it. And don't worry about the people taking your shit unless, unless you trademark it and you really can go sooner. If you can't trademark it, if you can't do that, it's not worth even worrying about. Awesome. In my eyes. We have one more question here. 